Hey there, in this video we're going to look at how to determine the equation in vertex form of a quadratic function if you're given the graph of that function. Let's do that now. All right, so looking at finding the vertex form equation given the graph here where we can see some points and the shape and everything like that, we are going to start with our basic vertex form equation here, a x minus h squared plus k, and we're going to fill in what we know here. We can see that the vertex is 0, 5, right? That's where our vertex is. So we can fill in two things right away. We can actually fill in 0 here, x minus 0 squared plus 5 on the end there. We don't know our a value yet. We're going to leave that. So actually, we can just write it as you don't have to write x minus 0 squared. You can actually just write x squared there. So if we write ax squared plus 5, now we can go and try and find that a value. To find that a value, you have a couple different options here. One option is to substitute in the coordinates of a point that you know. And there's a couple that you could use here. This looks like a point that it passes through and this looks like a point that it passes through or over here or over here any of those points is going to work i am going to choose this one because it's probably the simplest values to work with those coordinates are one three this is x this is y if you know that those are the coordinates you can substitute them in you have an equation as long as you can substitute in values and just leave one variable you can solve for it so if i put in one for x and 3 for y and go through and solve this thing then I'll have my my a value there so there's not a lot that I have to do here a times 1 squared is just a times 1 or in other words just a plus 5 equals 3 so a actually ends up being minus 2 all right so if I'm going to write my function there uh, minus 2 for a x minus 0 so just x squared plus 5. That's the equation of my function. There is one other option for finding that the value is negative 2. And it is comparing the heights here to what they would normally be. Right? So from the vertex up here, normally if this a value was 1, as in if it wasn't expanded or compressed vertically, it would be 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so on. But if we look at this now, we've got instead of 1 here, it's actually twice as tall. It's 2. It's 2 instead of 1. It's 8 instead of what it would normally have been is 4. So it's 8 instead of 4. It's 8 fourths or 2 over 1 times as high. So you can just say that the a value is what it what the vertical is now divided by what it would normally be whether you use 2 over 1 or 8 over 4 now really what I should do is put negative because it's opening down right and we get that value so you can either compare the heights like that or substitute a point and find it that way let's do a second one here if we're gonna do this one we're gonna use the coordinates of the vertex there to start with 3 negative 4 if we start with our vertex form and we substitute in what we know, we know we have a 3 there and we have a minus 4 over here. And then we got to solve again for that a value. If we use the coordinates of a point on here, uh, you can use whichever one you want. You can use that one or that one, or if it looks like it's got to be an exact point, that looks like an exact point. I'm actually going to choose this one because that's going to be the easiest one when a zero is involved there. So the coordinates of that point are zero, negative one. So if I substitute in here zero, negative one in for this thing, negative one for y and zero for x, and then I work this out. All right, when you solve for A there, you get 3 ninths or 1 third. Either way is fine. But then you can write the equation of your function to be Y equals 1 third X minus 3 
squared minus 4. That's that vertex form equation. You can, again, also find the value of A by looking at the shape. So again, just comparing what it would normally be. Normally be 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, right there. So normally it would be 9. Here it's 3. It's 3 ninths as high. That's where that comes from. All right? That's the other way of getting it. Either way is fine. All right? So that is finding the equation given the graph of a quadratic function.